disadvantages go for the disadvantages what are the disadvantages very difficult to convince the buyer customer after receiving the good only they may be say the their feelings so it is not easy to convince the buyer or con customer so that that is the first disadvantage very difficult to convince the customer the next secondly the lack efficient lack of efficient management there is no perfect efficient management so that is also another problem efficient management provided while the conducting with the customers review through only they will be getting the good management so it is not possible so it is a lack of efficient management the lack of storage capacity just now only i said here facility there is no facility at all for store the products so if it is there there is the operating cost again will be more so that's what there is a the storage capacity will be less and e-tailing which is form of e-commerce overlook the mail order retail business now it is a declining stage of the mail order through letters through already the new innovations through e-commerce will be arising in the society which is the electronic commerce through the online system buying and selling made that should be the e-tailing through which are the effect of the e-commerce through the mail order business will be declining stage this is what we have the disadvantages relating to mail order trade advantages as well as the disadvantages this is the third one in the types of large scale fixed shops now last one is that here it is over mail order the mail order trade the finally this one only we have what is that cooperative consumers cooperative stores consumers cooperative stores means consumers cooperative society means initially what are the cooperative society what is the act of their cooperative society indian cooperative society act we have that should be 1912 in first year itself we know it indian partnership act also company act also like that there is a cooperative societies will be there like that in, in this situation consumers cooperative store also there here it is in voluntary association by the follow of rules of cooperative principle it is a voluntary association and by way of establishing cooperative principle through what they want to do buy common sell common buy something for as a common sell something as common only not for more ways so here the service motive only we have more and more compared to other way but here the cooperative principle they are following and they do activities for common itself only this is what we have the consumers cooperative store their principle itself cooperative nature itself the principle is in itself cooperative itself only so here so what are the advantages advantages are what so firstly capital required is relatively less those are will be established for themselves only and some of the surplus product will be there it will be sold to the customers others so here those will be few members will be appointed wow, what is the minimum members of cooperative society in the first year itself 10 members is minimum maximum unlimited like that here with that one cannot establish in the cooperative society will be established with the minimum 10 members so automatically their investment capital of investment will be also less that is the first one second there is convenience both buying and selling in common itself we are buying from the manufacturer selling to the our members only so that it is very easy convenience to the buying and selling and goods are reasonable price not in profit motive those will be giving prices for the products with comparatively less reasonable price only they are deciding designed for the products also so that is also another benefit operating cost is less compared to other way there is operating cost is less so not at all appointing the few and more and more members few members through only it will be operated it so that automatically the operating cost is less next middleman eliminated obviously we can say the particular middleman will be throw it out with this type of stores there is no direct movement forward the direct from manufacturer to their consumers society members only 
economic large scale distribution possibility will be there large scale distribution also will be there so huge amount of capital is not required with that distribution is more by the members as well as the outsiders also so certain benefits of the government also it is cooperative nature itself cooperative principle only so that there is no for any earning the profit for providing the service only so that sometimes government also providing the incentives will be establishing this type of stores uh, government also will be tax benefit tax holidays they are the providing some incentives also providing some subsidies also given to them so that's what we have the advantages of this way certain benefits from the government and uh, disadvantages with this some of the disadvantages also there those are will be capital is limited there is no profit earning principle so that not at all interested by the members to giving capital for this type of stores so that capital is limited and the lack of efficient means clearly who don't have the successful management those are not able to take the risk so they will be establishing this type of stores and there is a efficient management not available in this type of stores finally the lack of storage capacity or facility there is a storage facility also less because of they may not uh, take the more and more rent of buildings or anything because there is a storage capacity also will be limited only these are the capital limited lack of efficient will be provided lack of storage also there so that this is what we have the limitations and uh, advantages and disadvantages uh, relating to consumers to cooperative societies this is what we have the types of large scale fixed shops large scale fixed shops so these all are the retailers types once of i have to say here Initially we started here internal trade now initially trade means buying and selling of goods and services that should be trade for the money or money's worth here the two types internal trade external trade here the internal trade we have what is the meaning of internal trade within the boundary the buying and selling will be taken place it should be the internal trade outside of the boundaries it will be the external trade here the internal trade two types wholesale and retail trader wholesale means buying the goods from the manufacturer sell to the retailers it will be the wholesale then retailing it is a retailing means buying the goods from the wholesaler and sold to the ultimate customers here the types of retailers will be there so types of retailers initially two types only one is itinerant retailers fixed shop retailers there is a there is no fixed shop place for the this type of retailers those will be the itinerant retailers fixed shop retailers means they have in some sort of fixed place itinerant retailers again they are divided as four what are they hawkers and peddlers periodical uh, retailers street stalls cheap jobs next uh, fixed shop retailers are two types one is small scale fixed shops large scale fixed shops so small scale fixed fixed shops again divided as six so what are they journal stores single line stores specialty stores street shops second hand shops second shop whereas the large scale fixed shops there are the four only we have one is the departmental stores multiple shops mail order trade consumers cooperative stores these are the types of retailers now finally sage we have to see special economic zones for the internal trade purpose what are the special economic zones are there how we have to attracting the foreign investment 